Hi, this is Dr. Bob with Carolina Bayou Pet Care. Thanks for joining us today. Today's topic, I want to talk about feline leukemia. Now, interesting enough, we've seen a lot of kittens. I'm talking about nine months into to the pandemic. We've seen a lot of people getting kittens this year, a lot of puppies, and that's great news. Um, however, a lot of these kittens, there might be strays, they might be coming from unknown sources. And unfortunately, many of these kittens are coming in with, um, that have been testing positive for what we call feline leukemia, or what we call feline AIDS, which we'll talk about separately. Now, the feline leukemia is caused by a virus. It is highly contagious, and unfortunately, it is a highly fatal disease. It is also a leading cause for cancer in cats. Now, the good news is we can test for this, for this uh, disease. And in fact, when we see stray kittens come in, we strongly recommend doing a blood test. And it's about a 10 minute test, so we get the results pretty quickly. So we find out pretty quickly if this cat kitten has, or cat for that matter, has the feline leukemia and or the feline AIDS, or what we call FIV. Again, we'll talk about that separately. Now, the leukemia affects different parts of the body. Primarily, it just causes a cat just to be just sick. Unfortunately, these cats are just, they feel bad. Um, they, they might be running a fever. There may not be any other clinical signs or symptoms other than they just don't do well. They're not eating well. They're just not thrifty. They're not active. They're just, they're just not themselves. So that is a, a quite commonly a complaint with a lot of these cats that turn out to be feline leukemia. It is a highly contagious virus, unfortunately. It is spread primarily through saliva and blood, although it can also be passed through the urine and feces. So, uh, since so cats that get into cat fights, that is a very common way it will be spread through contact with saliva, through contact with blood. But cats that are in close proximity, cats that groom one another, uh, salivary contact between cats can be a common way it can be spread as well. So a couple considerations. So we highly recommend getting your cat tested, especially if you if your cat is going to, if it's a new cat, you have no knowledge of its background. And particularly if your cat is going to be spending any time outside where it may come into contact with unknown cats, we strongly, strongly recommend getting those cats vaccinated. If your cat is never going outside and it never comes into contact with another cat, it doesn't need the vaccine because it does require direct contact. So we'll be happy to answer any additional questions about leukemia for you. You're welcome to come to our, one of our events. Go to our schedule at our website, carolinavaluepetcare.com, and we hope to see you soon. Thanks and make it a great day.